Programmers do kung fu fighting To ride good fast as lightning Hello and be welcome to Let's Develop Code Cutter Today we're going to develop the Potter Cutter I presented to you last time and yeah, let's get started right away. Since we're doing test-driven development, I'm going to start by writing a test in the test folder, but add it to the Potter package. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to design this implementation yet. So I'm just going to name this Potter test for now and then see where it goes. Okay, easiest thing to do for the first test is probably uh, um, that no book should cost nothing, right? Public void no book costs nothing. Um, okay, then I would like to somehow compute the price. Actually, I think I would like to have something like in an order object here and then um, ask the order for uh, its total value. So let's quickly refactor the test here. Uh, Potter book order and then say, okay, we have new Potter book order that's what I want to create. Now, um, I could create that one by using um, the quick fix, which will create me the, the class, but I can also use more unit, a uh, nice feature by pressing control J, which is normally switching between the test class and the um, implementation class, will automatically open the create new class with it for me with everything filled out. So it automatically detects that I have to use main here and the right name is filled in. Um, okay, so I just hit finish and that's it. Control J brings me back and the thing is implemented. Okay, so assign that to local variable. Let's call it order. Um, no book, so I have nothing to add. So the first thing I want to request from that is the total of the order that method does not exist so I create it void total yep run the tests no there's a compilation error okay missing semicolon run the test test runs so I can refactor clean this up a little I uh, remove the comments okay next thing I want to do uh, question is how do I model the value here? Of course, I could introduce a money object now, um, but I think for this kata I will go with an integer that represents the price in cents actually. So int uh, price, well, let's call it actual price in cents. which means that I need to change the return type to int and return something in order to get this work again and to express what I just did, the design, uh, I renamed this one to get total in cents. There's still something not working, probably because it didn't save, right? Rerun the tests, everything's working. Okay, and I want to have an assertion now assert that zero no that actual price in cents is zero quickly import assert that and run the test that's working fine perfect so first implementation done next thing i'm going to do is calculate the price for single book actually so we have public void um, one book costs eight euros. That's what the cutter definition says. So at that point, I want to 
create an order again. So I'm going to factor this out here to reuse it. Uh, first convert that to field actually, and then do uh, set at a setup method, public void setup and move this line in here. So tests should still run. Tests do still run. Um, okay, that means I cannot do order add book here. Doesn't exist. So I'm going to create it real quick. Order add book, whatever. Go back, add the method run the test does run so I can clean up. Um, you may be wondering why I'm doing that small of steps here really see to uh, whether the tests exist before we move comments and stuff. But I have the tendency to do too much uh, in one step between two executions of tests. So I'm trying to do really small step development here, um, executing the tests more often than I normally would just to get used to that. Um, yeah, we'll see where that leads. Okay, one book costs eight euros. So I want to add the book. I'm going to model the book as an enum, I guess. So say part a book dot first for the first book. Um, create enum Potter book. Unfortunately, there's no um, um, more unit support for creating that one, but should be fine. Create in main. Okay. Everything's fine. And now I can auto generate the enum constant first here. Okay. Now the method is not working anymore because I need to add the argument, right? Add parameter. Yes. Call that book. Tests running. Tests running. Perfect. Uh, at first book and now I want to assert the price which which is actually the same thing as I have above here so let me quickly factor out the value take these two into helper method assert that total in sense is value now I can inline this thing here again and now I can reuse that one below. So I move it down there. I uh, have the tendency to move all the, the helper methods below all the tests. Don't know, since most of the tests normally reuse these helpers, uh, this kind of makes sense to me. Okay, assert that total in cents is 800, right? Eight euros is 800 cents. Okay, re execute the test. Test fails. Well, well. I guess I need to somehow remember that there was a book. Edit. Yeah, it's okay. And then decide if book is null, return zero, else return 800. Should be the easiest way to implement that. Um, re execute the test, tests run. Perfect. Actually, um, just thinking about I would like to test that for all the books, which forces me to create all the the five uh, enum constants. So I take this test, I actually rename the test first, and say, okay, first book costs eight euros. And then I do the same for the second book. Second book costs eight euros. Second can re execute that. Ah, maybe I should first create the enum constant. This doesn't compile. Re execute the test. Yes, works. Uh, next is the third book. Again, create the enum constant real quick. Re execute test case. Okay, that's working. It's not too surprising that it works, but I want it to keep working. Third, uh, fourth, I think that's written like this. Hopefully, my <laughs> English skills don't let me down here. Fourth book, create, save, 
run works nice and the fifth book which is actually fortunately the last fifth written like this i guess um create constant we know that game already save it run it whoops okay so basic books single books cost eight euros no book cost nothing next thing is two books public void two times that's too long um, let's do it same book twice costs 16 euros that's the rule right there's no discount for two times the same book so if I do order add book Potter book fourth twice and I assert the total total in cents should be 1600 so 16 euros re-execute that test test fails makes sense so I guess in order to solve that test I somehow have to store how many books I have at least so let's actually introduce a list of books here so we have a list of Potter book call it books I add to this list here books dot add Potter book right and uh, yeah it changes nothing oh it does change something because I forgot to initialize the list new Java util array list and thanks to Java 7, I can actually save that generic here because it's defined here and the compiler can infer this. Okay, so now we are at the same point as before. I can remove the book assignment, remove the book variable and say um, books dot is empty. No, that's actually even easier. I can do books um, dot size times 800 right that should work okay one thing I want to change here do refactoring real quick is replace this by content uh, constant say single book price so number of books times single book price is my results tests are working tests are working nice little formatting here 